guys to, to get a load of, of what I, I saw in this town called Ocala, apparently the hometown of a day to remember. Uh, there's horses, there's everything's weird. <laughs> or maybe it's just me because it's unfamiliar, which, you know, things look weird when they're unfamiliar, but everything was really, seemed really tight. Everything was so tightly knit, it just come out at you. I mean, usually it's a ways before you see a store, you know? Target just pops out at you. The mall just pops out at you. Like, out of nowhere. You turn and it's right there. Like, usually it's like a little ways up. I don't know. It's just, everything is just very peculiar about it. I don't know. Uh, they, their FYE was okay. Uh, they had some okay CDs, but honestly, I like the Centerville one better. They have a bigger selection of CDs, at least to me anyway. Uh, their vinyls were a bit overpriced, and there wasn't any that I really liked. There wasn't any cool limited ones. So I wasn't really that impressed with their vinyl selection. But it, it was a nice store though. I mean, I would possibly go back, I guess, if they to get CDs. I did find four CDs I found. Less Than Jake, Upon a Burning Body, Skid Row, and Machine Gun Kelly. So I have tickets to my downfall on CD and vinyl now. So. And here's this. Yeah, this is where they keep horses and shit. I don't know exactly what they do with them. But, yeah, they have horses there and shit. ice cream place. I can't remember the name of it, but it was actually pretty good. It looked like ice cream cereal. It was very weird how the, how they did it. It was, it was interesting. Now, somebody I know is not even an hour from Ocala, so that was kind of interesting. I was that close, but Ocala seems like a nice town. It's just a little weird. The mall is so weird. J.C. Penney's was like in the dark. It looked like it was closing. Like I, like I felt like the mall was gonna close when I first walked in. It was very peculiar. So this is Highway 301. Uh, I'm pretty sure the in, it ends in Florida. The south end is in Florida. I'm not sure exactly where, but we're an hour from Tampa. So Ocala is like an hour from Tampa. Would've been interesting to have seen I could have ran into Tom Brady or something. Though I doubt he goes anywhere in Tampa. I wouldn't blame him. But yeah, Gainesville. I mean, we're not even far from Gainesville, which is the Florida Gator capital. Just where Florida Gators are at. And. Yeah. I don't know. same if you really think about it these US highways when you go through like just nothing but trees and farmland and shit they all look the same that's one thing I really notice about it they used to have a Brewster's in Ocala but apparently it closed but honestly the ice cream that I had wasn't bad either so now, if I ever go back there, I'll probably eat at that ice cream shop again. Alright, I think it's like, I don't know, 9.30, but we were out pretty late. Uh, this is what I got from the Paddock Mall in Ocala, Florida. I found four CDs in FYE. I found Upon a Burden Body, Red, White, Green. This is a classic Deathcore album. Uh, finally, this is my first Upon a Burning Body CD, so I'm very happy to find it.
less than Jake. And with the out crowd, this was one ninety nine. So that was a good find. Skid Row's cell title was only six ninety nine. And then I found Machine Gun Kelly tickets to my downfall. Got the CD, and now I have, and I have the Walmart exclusive vinyl. I found the Jessup Walmart as well. So overall, I had some decent finds. It's a it's a nice FYE. I mean, it's not bad, but I think I like the Centerville FYE better. I think there's more stuff there. It's just bigger, in my opinion. I don't know what, what I was going to say, but I went to this ice cream place in Ocala. I think it was called... I can't remember the name, but... It was really good. It looked like, like, ice cream cereal. So, and that's where Adeta remembers from, Ocala. So, I don't know. I found it to be... There was no Adeta Remembers stuff anywhere. There wasn't one Adeta Remembers CD, vinyl, anything. And you would think that, you know, this is their fucking hometown. You would have at least one piece of merchandise of a day to remember. I didn't go in their Spencer's or any other stores because just didn't. But maybe I'll check it out more if I go another time. But yeah, Centerville's FYE is definitely better. I would recommend it over the Ocala one. But it's fine. I mean, if you're in the area there, it's, it's fine. I don't think they have a hot topic, sadly, but, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's fine, there's nothing inherently bad about it, so, yeah.